As we are now set for the men's 100 fly. And as you look at Conrad Cerniak, who's turned in the top time in the world this year, silver medalist, as you can see in the 100 fly at the World Championships. He's from Poland. And he is in lane five. Lane one, there he is again, Laszlo Chev from Hungary. Better as an IMer. Nevertheless, in the 100 fly, Matt Grieber's in lane two. An Olympian, more of a backstroker. Francois Erzbrons, third at the European Championships from Belgium. Tyler McGill of the United States is next to him in lane four. This is his best event, bronze in this event, behind Cherniak and Phelps at the recent Worlds. And there is Cherniak, silver medalist again at the World Championships, trains in Spain, and could be the favorite here. We'll have to get the expert Rowdy Gaines' opinion in just a moment. Ricky Behrens, another Olympian, better in the freestyle, solid sprint flyer though, so could be a factor here. And Pavel Koronowski of Poland is lane seven, sixth in the 200 fly at the recent World Championships. And Davis Tarwater, a familiar name up there in lane eight, came back to swimming after a stint as an Oxford scholar. So anyway, Rowdy, what are your thoughts on this 100 fly? I, I like Cherniak and I like McGill. He comes in fairly fresh. He has swam that medley relay at the very beginning of the meet, but what that, that was an hour and a half ago, so he's had plenty of rest. He's a very consistent swimmer, had a great career at Auburn, so he's used to this dual meet type short course format. There's McGill in lane four. Just below him is Cerniak. Again, turned in the top time this year of 49.62. So middle of the pool, keep an eye on lanes five and four. And up there in lane two, Grievers off to a good start. Yeah. Well, Grievers, remember, he scratched, scratched the 200 backstroke because he wanted to get ready for this one. And boy, is he going out in fast. In a hurry, it's Grievers, Cha, and there's a Brock. He's just a tick away from the world record pace. They'll come back on that a lot, but boy, he is out very fast. And once again, he's toward the top, and I don't think Cherniak, I certainly don't think Cherniak can see him, and I'm not even sure McGill can right there. So up there in lane two is Grievers, and you've got McGill in lane four trying to give him a run at the wall, and it's Grievers one, McGill two, and Cherniak third. So an American one-two finish. So Grievers, after the scratch, gets the rest and comes through. Well, it, it, once again, this is a testament to the United States and the ability to come in here and swim tired in a lot of cases. The Europeans are just falling apart right and left. I mean, Cherniak in lane number five, he, he should have won this race. He really should have, Dan. He came in with the top time in the world this year. Wasn't even close to that at the end, but watch Grievers at the very end, just holding off McGill. McGill is so good at charging at the last 15, 20 yards. And he did the same here, but once again, look at churning at third. Tied for third. second off of what he went just a, a week ago. So Cherniak and Tarwater share a point, tying for third, so a half point to each squad there, but the U.S. goes 1-2 with an impressive performance by Matt Gravers.